hey y'all welcome back to another video today is tuesday for me it is july 26th already which is crazy 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 how fast this summer is flying by we've only got a few more weeks of summer before school starts for jackson and i just i'm not ready i am not ready he's not ready <laughs> I know it'll be okay and this week unfortunately it's like one of those weeks where the weather is just bad every day we, we can't really have any pool days any outdoor activities planned because every afternoon we get these like pop-up storms and you never know yesterday we had a storm come through and in one and a half no in 25 minutes it dropped one and a half inches of rain which I know, I know, so many of you all need rain and you, you tell me. And every time you tell me that you need rain or pray for rain, I, I pray for your area that you will get rain. And hopefully God will send some quenching rains to you all. Because I know so many people are in a drought. And, um, but we're just like in that pattern. Where, and I know, I think it's just because we're on the East Coast. We get everything just like ends up where we are. So there's just like trailing, it's like a conveyor belt of storms popping up every afternoon. So actually today it was supposed to be the most this week but so far we haven't got anything and it's like 2 30 so uh, another thing like this afternoon we probably will but i didn't plan to go anywhere because of that so we do have other things we have to do this week but today i just planned to be, to be home and try to avoid the bad weather just sitting out here on my porch i did have the dogs out here with me but they bark at every little thing they're such brats sometimes every person and there's a lot of people walking by and walking their dogs and i just Clyde was out here and then he gets so scared when they bark so he runs in and so I put them in and let him sit out here with me and enjoy some peace and quiet because he really really enjoys it out here what is it Clyde oh it's a squirrel oh it's a squirrel <laughs> he's too fast for you buddy he is too fast for you I know you want to chase him I just heard some thunder, so I guess it's coming, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think they overreacted. I was going to make these like strawberry oat bars, but I'm going to use the four or three berry, I think it's three or four berry blend that I got from, from Walmart. I'll show you. Um, it's triple berry blend, strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. I really love this. Um, I just love the flavor of all the berries mixed together, but... I think I'm gonna change it up and do a peach cobbler, but the only peaches I have are canned. They are the peaches in 100% juice, so I can still make it with that, I hope, I think. So I'm probably gonna not make the entire recipe, but I'll link it down below. My hair is coming down. I will link the recipe down below. It's from Amy's Healthy, Amy's Healthy Baking.com. I've actually made, sorry, it's really bad I've actually made some of her recipes before because that looks really familiar but I'm gonna make a few substitutions so I'll show you when I do that but I'm gonna go ahead and make it now it's 3 30 and then you know it'll be ready after dinner is over it'll be ready to eat it'll be cooled off and I have some like sugar-free cool whip they say put ice cream on it but I have sugar-free cool whip and when it's frozen it tastes just like ice cream so I'm gonna work on that now I gotta go let Clyde in too he was not wanting to come inside so He'll get scared if it starts raining and thundering and stuff. You coming in, sweet boy? Let him in. Come on. Come on. Hey. <laughs> okay. You coming in? No, they thought I was inviting them out. But you hear the thunder? They're definitely building. I took my July 4th decor down from inside, but I'm just loving it out here. For some reason, it is not bothering me at all to have it up out here still. I, I don't know why, but I guess because I'm just not out here that often. It doesn't get in my way, but I'm going to keep it out here for a little while longer. Okay, so it calls for five to six medium peaches or four extra large. So she said 490 grams, and so I have a 15 ounce can of sliced peaches I'll dice them up but I converted grams and ounces and this is a little less than 490 grams so but I'll still probably make the same amount of topping because it's not that much less so I'm gonna grab cornstarch almond extract cinnamon she says oh oats and then whole wheat flour 
I think I do have whole wheat flour. I think my flour is whole wheat. Um, whole wheat flour, pure maple syrup, and butter. Corn starch, almond extract. Almond extract is my all time favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> it's so good. I was watching Marina last night and she was cracking me up. She was talking, I'm sure you know who Marina is on Fearfully Created is her channel. Um, she was talking about how she hates to step on crumbs on her floor and I was laughing so hard because that is like my number one pet peeve, stepping on crumbs. We don't wear shoes in my house so I have to constantly sweep because I cannot stand it either. So I'm walking around my kitchen feeling the crumbs so I'm going to sweep before, before I make this because I cannot do it. Well, that was the quickest easiest little cobbler I ever made <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking but in my mind I had it as this much bigger more elaborate process but you just mix it together pour it on top obviously this pan's a little bit big for the amount of peaches I had I would love this with fresh peaches but I'm gonna go ahead and bake it it says 35 to 45 minutes so I'm gonna do it to 40 and see if everything is like if the topping has crisped up and it says to let it sit for two hours after you make it so that's perfect since I went ahead and started it early and that lets all the juices thicken so I'm excited it smells so good that filling with the almond extract wow like I said I'm that's my favorite thing ever so so we'll set it for 40 let's check it then and my sweet Clyde is crying he's crying to go back out you loved it out there didn't you I think it's a little too warm but he loved it all right Can I let your doggy sister and brother outside? You gonna be scared? I knew you'd be waiting. Come on. Finally started raining and it has cooled off so much. It says it's 85, but it feels like it's 75 out here. It's amazing. Finally getting the rain. cobbler's out of the oven it smells amazing it didn't like spread out like I thought so that's good and everything is like crunchy on top it says to set two hours so that's gonna be the hard part but Madison just called or texted me and wants to come over tonight and watch our show so um I will leave it for then I can eat dessert when we watch our show it's been like it's been like an hour and he's just been out here you just been out here loving it huh you ready to come in it's kind of warm you gonna come in I was just sitting down doing some bills and stuff and it's been like an hour and he was out there the whole time and he does not want to come in. <laughs> but I tasted the cobbler and as much as I love almond extract, I think I would put about half as, what, as much as I put in. It said one and a half teaspoons, which I thought was a lot, but uh, next time I might put like a half a teaspoon because it's kind of very strong especially if you don't like almond you won't you won't like that but it's good it's definitely not real sweet so because the only um 
sweetness is the peaches, you know, the natural sweetness, and then the maple syrup. So um, when I put my Cool Whip on top, that just gives it like an extra sweetness too. So that'll be good. I definitely had to try it. I couldn't help it. And I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner. I'm gonna pull up the recipe, but it's not really a recipe. Well, I'm not gonna follow the Sloppy Joe recipe. I'm just gonna make my Sloppy Joe and put it on the toast. So I'm gonna cook the toast for like, I think 10, seven to 10 minutes or something. And then put the, you know, the meat on top with, I think they put mozzarella cheese on top. Super, super simple. I just bought these great value, whoop, great value garlic Texas toast. All right, so I just looked it up. It says Sloppy Joe's, and then you pull it up, it says Italian Joe's. So it's a little different. It's got like t tomato and stuff. So you could, you could, I'll link that recipe down below if that's something you're interested in, but I'm just gonna make my Sloppy Joe. I'm gonna put these in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. And then I am gonna put mozzarella cheese on top. I think a lot of people saute their pepper and onion and then they add it to the meat. I just throw it all in together and cook it all together and it all cooks up the same and then the pepper and onions get nice and soft and it's fine. You don't have to do it separately. Right, those were really good. I definitely liked it like that better than just a regular sloppy joe. I think I'll probably make those again, but we have some left over. I'm gonna go ahead and finish loading the dishwasher. This is Marion's newest creation. He uh, made these are called Joker boards. And if you saw my vlog where we went and played, like we went to our friend's house and played this game, they taught us how to play this game in the when we went to the beach. And um, you can make like your own board and of course Marion has to make it like ultra professional <laughs> So he made one and he actually gave it away to some of uh, some of our friends and so he just made two more um, And he's gonna give them to the girls because they really love it So I used my Cricut and made these little labels and then he drilled all the holes and stained the wood and put the Polycrylic and the frames and he did an amazing job, but he laid them out so Madison can choose which one she wants tonight but I am gonna go clean the kitchen. I'm gonna set you on the tripod.
the next day today. I feel like I was I didn't get a lot of footage yesterday. I thought I would just carry the vlog over to today. Jackson's hiding. We are getting his hair cut and then we're gonna run out and get my nephew and we're gonna have a little fun today. So I thought I'd just, you know, do it, make it a two day vlog. day out we got Jackson's haircut got some lunch I took the boys to the jump park because that is a great way to burn off a lot of energy um, they play dodgeball most of the time and they're tired so we got some Jackson loves those um, McDonald's slushies the strawberry watermelon ones it's his favorite so we got that when we came home and I'm gonna do just a little bit of cleaning now so I thought I might as well film it in this video. I'm gonna have an easy night tonight. We're gonna have leftovers. We also had some leftovers from um, the lunch I just got at Arby's. It had like a deal so I got like extra. And, like we have a couple nights. I've said this before but like if I plan dinners every night during the week we always have, there's the tag on the bowl. We, we After a couple nights we have leftovers because you know there's only a few of us to eat and so one or two like usually at least one night a week i say i'm not cooking we're just eating all the leftovers up so that's what we'll be doing tonight so i love those nights when i can relax so i'm going to do a little cleaning and then i'm probably going to do my nails i was saying before i'm taking my acrylics off but i've never done it before so i'm kind of worried the thumbs kept popping off but now it's been like over a week and i keep thinking as soon as one pops off i will do them and now of course they're all going strong so but I got this at Walmart Biotin extra strength. I showed this in my grocery haul Biotin ultimate strength and I'm gonna try and take them off and then I don't know if I'm gonna add color or not But I have a couple colors I got As much as I love these like gingham pillowcases, I can't use them. First of all, they get all these little balls all over them, but look at, this is from, I don't know if you can see Belle's hair. They just attract hair. This one's so bad. Belle likes to sit on it, and I just can't have that. So I'll wash them and give them to Goodwill. Unfortunately, I can't use them, they're so cute. So I just went back to my blue pillows, but I need to find pillowcases for these that I got these at Walmart like years ago. I thought about replacing them. They still sell them. They're two for 15, which is a really good price, but I don't know.
Okay, I tried the plastic around my bananas. Didn't work. <laughs> I might have to make banana bread, but no, it didn't work for me. I mean, I guess it's been, it was Saturday and today's Wednesday, so that's how they look. It's a bummer. All right, I am going to end this two-day vlog now. It's kind of a hodgepodge of everything. Never did get my nails done. I've been editing, wanted to get a video up for you guys. So I might actually, I'm getting it edited kind of early, so-ish for me. It started the upload at like 8.15, so that's early for me. So I might still be able to do my nails, but anyway, I was gonna do that in this video. Just didn't have time, but I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.